And the stream has begun. Welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel 2, where last time it looks like that magic knight that Toval thought he defeated wasn't actually defeated. Oh dears. Well, time for Rena Lisa and Toval to now deal with it three on one instead of just one on one action. And I would use turbo mode possibly, but for whatever reason, in the controller layout tool, although it is ticked to enable, it doesn't want to work when out of combat at the very least. I will now be testing it in combat once we get into combat. Selene so confirms exactly which direction we need to go. Thankfully it, thankfully, it is a rather straight line. So no need to worry on that front. Well, there are a few detours. They're mainly for chests. And Ween brings up again the Blue Blanc shenanigans that occur. Well, I, I think this is the first time he brings it up. I've been bringing it up because, hey, Falcon, putting canon content outside of your video games and then making it impossible for your audience to view it is a great idea. <laughs> well. And we get our tutorial on combat links. With how it all works. Now we can actually set them before we go into combat. Yippee. Well, and that's good news for us because now we can do this. Uh, we can look at these again and see how these fare up. Uh, at least as auto tier, Toval gets nothing yet. But it makes sense that Reen and Lisa will be link level 3 because that's how they decide to show how much of you guys totally are friends. Kind of logic. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, the game gives us the tutorials to do with unbalancing and the link attacks and all that. Oh, well, I was going to check to see if um the uh, thing was going to work. Alright, I'm pressing RT. Turbo is not a working. Turbo does not work. I do not know what I've done wrong here. Uh, we can see how. Did I six on a golden sphere? That, yeah, 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 that's fine. Oh no, because I think you can do stuff. And yeah, well, no, that's that is a lot of damage. At least starts at a lower level compared to the others, but that does make sense. Overall, she didn't go through an entire video game's worth of experience, and Toval is meant to be a rather strong arch user. Not the best, but his quickness does give him some level of advantage against certain en against uh, some enemies. We get reminded about how using different people may actually give you a better chance of getting triple advantage against certain enemies and we get told about the crit caliber which I explained last time so if you want a fish the fish point's still there it hasn't gone away just Annabelle's no longer there Are you all right, to, Elise? you know oh, don't worry I'm fine just warms your heart doesn't it the advantage is ours sure thing Mm, probably bad to look at these first. Oh, they're weak to like to wind. I was about to say electricity because quite a few of the some of the early because wind attacks end up doing compass uh, quite a few. Uh, does end up encompassing some level of lightning to it, which I, I guess it makes sense. In a thunderstorm, you're going to get wind and thunder curving, so. Inside that chest was a lighter, which we'll be equipping because it will give. Uh, who to be equip it to? Oh, that's equipped to Elise. She hasn't actually got anything yet. It will prevent freeze, which, considering a lot of these enemies look very icy, that's probably for the best. We don't want to get murdered by the same thing that killed the dinosaurs. Well, Dice Age didn't do that, but. Uh, ah. Do, 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 do. 
I realise that the first part hasn't been uploaded to YouTube yet because it's scheduled to be released later. Uh, about half eleven. That's my motto when it comes to uploading videos. If I've got something to upload, I'll try to make sure it's uploaded in time to be able to be scheduled for the next day. Uh, sometimes I might screw up and end up being for the day after, but nah, it's, But as long as I upload it, I'm not. Because I upload the fonts, so. That they'll be served for as long as I don't delete them. <laughs> yeah. Which means anyone that sees them could easily download them and then I have no control over it. But, unless I say something stupid, I don't think I need to worry about people keeping a hard drives full of my videos because that you know it's, I, I get I get hardly any views so so it's not it's not a concern of mine I mean I'm not gonna be saying saying random shit that's gonna get me uh, viewed as being a terrible person at the very least because that'd be stupid Stab. Sure thing. Total swapping a choice when you're not casting art is a baton. Something that tends to usually be used by police in the real world. Well, at some point. Tasers appear to be more beneficial in some areas of the world. And we get our monster chest. Monster chests, if you haven't played the first game, are chests that are full of monsters. Uh, tend, this does tend to mean that if you do open one, be prepared. Make sure you are understanding of the enemies that tend to be around the area, because usually that impacts what you're fighting. Damn it, that's going to get his heart off. Although it is only aqua bleed, so we don't have to play too much. Mm. Okay, I'm going to just spear break because. I don't like what I'm seeing. Let's move. Can we reach? No, we cannot reach, which means we'll arc slash. Hmm, that's a sewer, which it doesn't use. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's that. I did it. Every little Yep, King Roblox is actually quite nice and inside this chest we get a salmon powder. This is the first Area where we have members in the party other than Wien and we're getting seven powders. That that could suggest that we're in for a rough time. No, 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 no. It's not. No, in terms of the game progress, eh, normal enemies, not so much. The boss that we're going to be encountering, which is the Magic Knight. Eh, eh, I I can't hide my negativity when I I don't like. The Magic Knights. Yes, plural. We'll be encountering other Magic Knights later, but much, much later. But at least then you've got a full party, and and everyone's got most of their Cold Steel Two kit at that point, and it's much more. You're better equipped, is what I'm going to say. Where first is this boss fight that we're going up towards. Where, end of story, to cut to the chase, we do not have access to everything yet. We do not have access to barely anything at all. 
We don't have any options other than Master Quartz's, so if you're doing some kind of thing where we can't have Force for whatever reason, you're gonna be shit out of luck and Wien's going to die horribly. Like, like seriously, I do not recommend it. Well, let's uh, screw that enemy. Uh, Mere Fally 2! More Fally to walk through! Yay! Well, seems to be picking up. Ha, ha. We should hurry up before the sun begins to set. Ha, ha. Let's get him! My turn! Second form! Gale! Ready to go! At least being slightly under level means she is actually getting more experience than Reen and Toval do. That's that is the one benefit to Reen's level as well is he he goes down levels. Others kind of stay similarly leveled to as they were in Cod's the One. So let's get a bit of a boost to experience for a bit. Sorry, that's it for you. Charging through the valley. Here I go. Sit. Sure thing. No, that's the wrong one. Just, just murder it before Tiger wastes the art. So I won't do that thing instead. Hmm. Sorry, that's it for you. We have time to stop and chat about how we're going to be dealing with this magic knight. But Wien doesn't have a plan. Thankf thankfully, Wien actually does have a strategy in mind, mainly involving Falamar, but... But it's a strategy nonetheless. Actually, actually you know what? Yeah, Falamar's a probably good option. Oh, chest. I wonder what's inside. At the end of the day, when in doubt, use giant mech probably is a very valid way to go about life. Inside. Poison! Which is completely use. I don't actually. Is it useless? I think it is completely useless against the Magic Knight. I've never seen poison before. Let's get yourselves ready. A bunch of stuff in this chest. And there is no charging station here, so thankfully Toval's EP will be back to full. Which is what we need. We, we all need him having EP. Now, if you're doing a dumb, stupid challenge one like I've done before with this game, <laughs> yeah, this is where I'd recommend uh, dying horribly, because because you're not using all the resources available. Besides, the only person we can equip poison onto anyway is Ween, and I don't think that really is going to matter too much. So, thankfully, it appears that nothing bad is going on over here. 
despite everything that happened in the past for Wien and also Blue Blanc shenanigans in the previous game that we didn't get to play. And along comes the Magic Knight to ruin all our fun of adventuring through the valley. But since this is our goal, since our goal was to deal with this Magic Knight, I say hey, this is good, good timing really. Damn those legends stating, there may be a chance they can regenerate. Someone really should have thought about that before they, before it magically took off. Okay, so we got a seal art straight away, that's kind of cool. So, before we even go into this fight, this fucker, this fucker can heal themselves. Oh, it actually has like a very small chance of poison. But it's so small, you're not getting that chance to hit. You'd, be be you'd probably be better off using flame impact and hoping for burn. Is my is, I would recommend hell even fireball. In fact, yeah, this is a seal art. It's guaranteed damage, and we don't use any resources. A win-win, to say the least. So yeah, this fight is just due to the point of the game we're at. This is just beat down. Cause. There's not much else we can do about it. My turn. There. Ha! I'm up. Although it said attack delay, I don't this. see the delay. Did so that, was uh, that is getting the 50 health. I am going to have to. Yep, Luminous Spray. Oh, uh, at least has Luminous Spray. And the large art. Whoopee. If I go through this entire fight and it doesn't use it once, I'm going to be pissed. Because I, I, I moan like bug. It'd be like the sea fight all over again. Uh, the sea fight, I usually take at least two attempts. Attempts at it, and then I do it first time on the playthrough. So, <laughs> Grand Quack is actually being relatively painful, but we have at least a few healing options. So, eh. just don't want to be bogged down with only healing, because otherwise, uh, yeah, that that would just be RNG is going to be against me if I did that. And here we go, power gain. It gained uh, 11,306 health. Sure and it gained a strength up. You don't have access to Animalite Shield yet, so it's going to hurt. Uh, there's nothing I can do with Tobin on that front. It does have Curio at least, but that's kind of check. That fun, so. Unfortunately, it means that a lot of damage that we did is now being rendered mute at a time where when your DPS overall is just not high enough to keep chipping away at it necessarily. Uh, that's why. That's what I'm not a fan of. No Adamonite Shield, no Usus, no Milium. Sure thing. Hmm. Please allow me. Yeah. I'm up. Shane Grand Crack is uh, AoE that just hits everything because 
I would much prefer if it wasn't. Does our school hurt? Good. I keep instinctively going for art. I know crafts instead of arts. I love that actually, arts and crafts. There's a way to snipe the thing. No, there isn't. Uh, that's gonna be painful. Turbo win, because otherwise. Oh, wait, I do have a way of sniping. I can be belly and storm. Behold! Turbo's S break. S craft doesn't matter. Why is it named two different things? I do not know. Giant orb of wind. With a crit that. And its power gain nullified all of that. That is what I mean by the bullshit that that is. I use a 200 CP Rebellion Storm and it just heals it all right back. Rendering what I just did completely moot and makes me want to. want to die. Because wasting my time in a video game isn't fun. It's not a test of my skill. If it's just able to heal everything that I did. Uh, example, uh, Shimgo and Tenzai Strange Journey. Uh, if you're not going neutral, there was a boss that you have to fight. There's no ifs or buts about it. You have to fight it. Unfortunately... Its health bar may say, like, oh, 7,500. Uh, something along those lines. Lines, maybe a little bit more because it is near to the, because it's the boundary alignment gate, so probably a bit more than that, actually. You get it down, and then it goes back to full. Sure thing. No, no mechanics or anything, just it goes back to full. And that means, in reality, its health bar is double what it actually is. So you get for a grueling fight, you think, oh, I'm actually about to do it. Like right now, I was so close to beating it. And it healed back that health. And it's just like, well, okay, I've wasted my time. Please, that, that The fight was like, this yeah. close to being done, and it's suddenly, no. Oh, what, you actually thought you were allowed to actually get through a fight without tedium? Ha ha ha, no. I'm giving up because this fight is bad fight. Because it has access to its healing mechanic multiple times. It's a DPS check, but it's a DPS check in the worst form, where you don't have what's needed. Uh, we have a quit. But people are hurt, so... We're healing. But when the game decides to be the way it is... I yeah. You know. Oh, we actually got a seal. That probably helped. Uh, at least a little bit. It means only has one, one strength up still. Sure thing. Uh, which means I think I'm gonna just go for double strength again. Hope for the best. No. Nope. Well. I have an idea. And behold! Elise's S bike. She twirls around with a sword. How oh, lovely. Damn it! But wait, hold on a second. It didn't use its healing thing. We've only got two health. Let's go! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I should not have put the controller on the table. 
a desk. It's not a table, it's a desk. It's a desk from here all the way to here. <laughs> so, maybe I'll do a room tour at some point just as an auxiliary video. Yeah, I want to cleaned up a bit. Uh, still got a bit of stuff that I haven't been able to clean up fully yet. Mainly because there's a desk in the way. But. Hey, this is living in 2023. We did it! We beat the Magic Knight! Yippee! Waha! Woohoo! Oh shit, no we haven't. <sighs> Suddenly it grows three additional arms and equips a sword. No, it, no, it gains two additional arms and grows three additional swords. That is just not fair. This is cheating. I'm complaining to Adios. And so it's time for Ween to <clears throat> For the first time this game, Ween uh, calls upon the power of Valamar. Since we're not fighting Crow, good. Uh, this means we're, this means this is going to go much more favorably without needing to say anything else. Because, because believe it or not, we do need to show off the power of Valimar without it being like, well, yeah, of course, someone who's been piloting another Divine Knight for for a while's gonna beat ya. First, compared to a Magic Knight, that is, you know. Enough to fend off this guy, at least. Uh, oh, just a little bit. I won in gameplay, so lead, you fuck. <laughs> So apparently this fight will only be taking 300 seconds in total, even if it's in in uh, if in story time. Even if in gameplay time it takes uh, a bit longer than that. Well, shorter than that, even. Do that. Come on, Missy. We're gonna be in danger if we. All right. I'll have to rely on the unarmed form this time too. Okay. Man, if only we could obtain one of these right. swords, that Maybe. would just cut down some some shenanigans. But no, nah, no. Nah, well. We get tutorialization on how a battle while in the Divine Knight works. Mainly this is because this is the first time we're doing this in this game, just like usual. It guards the arms when doing that, I'm done. Oh, pardon me. Just like in... Just like in Cold Steel 1, one, at the moment we can't really do much in terms of healing ourselves, but we do have access to Morning Moon still now with a 100% chance to evade and counter, instead of a 50% chance to evade, 50% chance to guard. Oh, so we don't have Spirit anymore, but that's because it's tied to a different mechanic that's only, that is introduced, that, is, uh, <clears throat> that isn't in Cold Steel 1, but is introduced in Cold Steel 2. Oh, so, oh, so any of these... Battles involving Falamar, your sole party member will be Falamar because there is no other Divine Knights on your side. Because Ordeal is on Quo's side, aka the Noble Alliance side. Okay, that was a two star. And that was what we needed.
finish out. Again, we can only go up to three bravery points at this point in time. So, no five. Let's say. Oh, so we just used a destructive impact, but they didn't kill it. So the moment we hit it and the game, sometimes we'll just be like, yeah, no, you go for another one. And that's how you win. And so we destroy the Magic Knight. It poofs out of existence and we did it. We get to see it in gameplay, and then in cutscene form, dying. Yay! That's what it gets. He did it. Thank goodness. Fuck magic knights. No, that. Yeah, fuck magic knights. They they can go die. So I think he's used up every last bit of the mana he recovered. <sighs> that was a close one. You didn't have a weapon, and yet you still came out on top, Bree. Not half bad. Not that it means you're ready to take on the Azure Awakener. That's a ways away. Just need to slap me in the face and remind him. Crow's dick is better. Wait, no. Crow is better. That dick. <laughs> sure. I hope I don't let you down. I barely know a thing about you. But even then, it's clear as day that you're far more reliable than I'll ever be. What, what am I doing? Why am I doing that? I'm making myself laugh. The fact is, we're now fighting alongside one another as both allies and friends. Yeah, friendship. Worry. I'll do everything I can to become strong enough to draw out your full power. Strong enough to even win against Crow. I shall wait down there. Well, that day suddenly ain't going to be the next day. Who knows when in Reen's future he'll be able to just curb stomp Crow into the ground hey there. and beat him up. Chance. Just Thanks. repeated curb stomps. Just he, he has three finishes all lined up just to press R, right trigger, and Y. You didn't get hurt at all. Did or right once? trigger and triangle if you if you play wrestling games on PlayStation. Or whatever buttons you press on keyboard, but most people that probably play it on keyboard would probably be on TC, probably would use a controller. Anyway, so. I'm a little tired, but I probably wouldn't have so easily since we're anywhere close to being like last time, Monty. As I've said once before, all damage taken by a Divine Knight is passed on to its Awakener, so take that as extra motivation to continue getting better at piloting him. Oh, yeah, you did say that, didn't oh, you? you? forget about that well, factoid all the way up till certain events later on in the series. I've got every intention of getting better. <laughs> you're sounding a lot more sure of yourself. Does that mean you're feeling better? Yeah. Never better. If I want to reunite with the others, I need to keep moving forward. Sorry. I've got a feeling I'm just going to be causing you a lot more grief in the future. No, stop I'm causing so people grief, Wayne, you fuck. I'm no. used to it. And besides, I'd like nothing more than for you to be reunited with your classmates. Thanks, Elise. <sighs> you can be such a troublemaker. <laughs> Sounds like things are all wrapped up here. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure about that. Enter Fita. That can't be. Oh, we're not. Offering us such great games as Persona 4 Golden exclusively to the. Huh? What, what do you mean it's on PC? And Xbox? Wow, fuck, I guess I better throw yeah. my feet out the window. Anyway. Grunios! Fita's familiar. Showing yourself, Fita. although not enough nerve to show off in person, apparently. So, what does Ouroboros's oh so amazing second anguish, the Azure Abyss herself, want with us? Well, you see, the seventh is busy curb stomping other people in cross spells, so I'd thought I'd curb stomp you. You know, just to see what the fun is like. And that's the take a shot for the initial reference. <clears throat> Moment for this part. <laughs> Nice to see you again, too, Celine. And while I know of them, I can't say I recall ever being formally introduced to Reen's adorable sister or that mm. handsome bracer with you. 
Hi, Chip It. I'm sorry that our first meeting had to be through my familiar. Huh? Misty. No. I suppose I should call you Vita now. How did you know we were here? We've been trying to find the whereabouts of the Ashen Knight for quite a while, you see. We've been searching for the past month since the Civil War began without any luck. But then we sensed an active magic knight in this area. And that was what finally led us Yeah, to that, that, that's the thing. Fita is a magical person, let's face it. She's going to sense, huh, there's a strong form of magic over that way. <laughs> I got to see your battle with Crow too, incidentally. For it being the first time you've ever piloted a knight. You did rather well. If we're being objective, though, it was more akin to a tiger swatting away at a cub. <sighs> what are Crow and that Azure Knight doing now, anyway? What happened to everyone at the? I'm sure, they're fine, Lane. <clears throat> Crow's been keeping himself very, very busy. The Noble Alliance forces see him as their little Joker. They call him the Azure Chevalier now. <laughs> Crow, a Chevalier? Nah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything about your classmates, name. though. Emma's in hiding now, too. Still, if you want to know that badly... Gunshot's a car. Oh, dears. That didn't sound good. That sounded like... That sounded like gunfight. Uh-oh. I wasn't expecting them to arrive so soon. It sounds like the Jaegers hired by Duke Albarea are here. Damn you, Ab Wait, hold on a second. Are we in Abba No, hold on. Wait, hold on a second. Second? At this point in time, Ymir is uh, nearer, nearer to um, Boa. Which means Abba is working a little bit out of his jurisdiction, to be fair. Her Highness? But yes, their target I'm is Alpha you're going to want to hurry though despite proclaiming it's innocence you might be able to still not going time. to do anything to prevent people from doing shit that you aren't really meant to be doing hmm I could just put a stop to it all but no because at the end of the day the Jaegers are being hired by a member of the Noble Alliance and really if the Noble Alliance just started infighting that probably would not be a good idea at least while they're still Let definitely Imperials Danger if we don't get moving. Right. And so it begins a mad sprint back through the valley. You can avoid enemies if you so desire. There's no real point in fighting them outside of some additional experience. I really hope everyone's all right. Let's just hurry. Hmm. So Lane explains why if Vita's plan was to kidnap Alfin, it would have happened by now. Fair enough, uh, Ouroboros has plenty of enforcers and plenty of angrycises that are so strong that they could just waltz into Ymir, burn it all to the ground and just take a lease. Or hell, even just kill her. I'm saying that in the possibility of McBurn being used. Other members would at least uh, leave some of it intact. The Witch of the Abyss. Her disappearance seven years ago led to, of course, her being in Ouroboros. Because, of course, that happens. If someone just goes missing for an extended period of time, just assume that either have died mah randomly, they're they're going to show up at a later point in a different area to be like, oh, oh, so this is where this character is. is, Or they've joined some kind of organisation. That means that, oh, that's why they've been gone the whole time. We wouldn't have seen them because they've been busy doing grunt work. So 
Supposedly, Theta was able to just wibbly, 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 and Anna and Celine were never able to even hear her voice through a radio. How convenient. It's convenience but... Yeah, it's not worth complaining about, really. It just... Uh, just to what limits do witches have? should be explained, because if all witches end up being that powerful, it's automatically like a, hmm, so why are they, so, so why do they use all ball systems then? Just be warning shots. Try and stay calm. Then once they are known to be a witch, are we going to make it in time? outside of gameplay. Thankfully, we are right in front of it, so we will make it in time to try and stop them, I think. Or do we not? Yeah. Well, we get there to see the fill we get there to see everything on fire people running around manically trying to not die oh, heaven. your highness please hurry back inside the mansion and whatever may come to pass we won't but, but... there you are and the yeah you successfully get to Alfin. oh dear We are the Northern Jaegers, and we've entered a contract with the Kreutzen province. What are the Northern Jaegers, some might say? Ah, we'll learn that Your later. Province, Lord Duke Alberea, we are here to take you into protective custody, Your Highness. No! Auntie Lucia? Out of the way, Wolf. I ask you to leave this village at once. The Schwarzer family has historical connections with the Imperial family. So as long as I live, you will not lay a hand on Her Highness. <laughs> you got guts, if nothing else. But I'm not going to repeat myself again. Our orders are that the lives of all other than Princess Alphen are of no consequence. Am I making myself clear? <laughs> but please don't! Don't you dare lay a hand on them! Who are you? Uncle Teo! Darling. I am the Baron of Ymir, Teosh, and I will serve as your opponent. Begin. They have guns. I, I feel like I feel like way too many people overestimate or under no 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 uh, underestimate just how powerful a gun is against a sword. If it wasn't for the if it wasn't for if it wasn't for the anime aspects of a lot of the oh I'm gonna use a sword people happen to be so bloody fast a gun would just mow down everyone. Every time, it, it just, the, 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 a lot of stories would end a lot quicker because, like, I'm going to use my sword, and then they get pelted with pelted with several machine guns worth of am ammo and die, die looking like uh, a bunch of cheese with holes in them. I believe there's a name for that kind of type of cheese. And the Jaegers have no morals, and so will literally shoot a child if they have to. All that matters to we Jaegers is fulfilling our contract by any means necessary. You guys certainly know what constellation. They may do a lot of shit, but hey, at least they get. At least most of the time their contracts with all bought us after a certain point. And so Teo Schwarzer gets shot in the back. It sounded like a machine. There's, there's fire everywhere. Damn it! Looks like we're up against some pretty high-ranking Jaeger. Your Highness. <laughs> oh no! They didn't do much to her. But no, Teo Schwarzer. He's he is bleeding out all over the ground. 
And of course this causes Wayne to do his anime power up. May not be as powerful as our seed, definitely not the case, but fuck me, yeah, he is strong. Hmm. He's a monster. <laughs> and, the, and the Jaegers call themselves monsters at times. Wait, don't, don't lose yourself to anger. That will only lead to a repeat of what happened eight years ago. Ah, the Jaegers deserve it. Thankfully his thankfully his parents being alive is a good thing because it means he'll depower. The group of Jaegers have been dealt with, oh, although I think there are more of them at battle, so you, that might not be a good thing to hold. This place is. This place is Yes, I'm fine. And it's all because of you and your family. I can't even begin to thank you enough. Your Highness, there's no need to cry. You have the face of an angel. Please don't spoil it with tears. Well, I'm glad she's in no mortal danger. That's definitely a I'm slowly dying words, but no, that, that, that's not the but case here. This is trails after all. I've given him some first aid, but he was injured pretty severely. We should get him to somewhere he can receive proper treatment as soon as possible. No. Dad. Honestly, some people have no patience. Hello, Vita. What do you want with us? I had some concerns about how things were over here, so I decided to come and have a look. Duke Alborea's really gone and done it this time. It's obvious that he really wants to get ahead of Duke Cayenne, but this isn't the most prudent way to do it. <sighs> you act like he's not one of your... Now, now. There's no need to take your anger out on me. I can't undo what's already happened. But if it will help, I can at least clear up his mess for you. What? Fate, uh, in an act of faith? Good faith, I guess. Uh, because Duke Alvarez did this without anyone else going. Yeah, sure, this makes sense. Merciful mother's arms. Vita's magic allows for the as for the Aegis to leave. You report to Duke Alborea that you found nothing out of the ordinary. Yes, mother. We will. Oh my! Unbelievable. So this is what you witches are capable of. It. It's the least I could do after all the trouble you've been through. Duke Alborea is unlikely to doubt what they tell him, so this village shouldn't be targeted again for a while. Although. I'm guessing a gesture like this pales in comparison to what I would have to do to earn your forgiveness. Um... Misty, are you... Don't be taken in by her! She doesn't do things like this out of kindness! She doesn't? Targets in sight. Suddenly, a tiny girl on a... thing similar to Milliam's what? shows up. Interesting outfit choice there, Falcom, as per usual. And oh dear, Alpha and Elise are being kidnapped there. Now Damsel's in distress is once again. God damn you, game. Shit. Was she here the whole time? 
Why doesn't she have this invis invisibility later? Oh, that's often now. Oh. Now that was silly of you, wasn't it? You should never take your eyes off the princess you're meant to be protecting. Well, the Noble Alliance. Well, the Noble Alliance get exactly what they want anyway. Just the uh, Albert can't take all the credit, which is a good thing, really. Who are you? And what do you want? And why does that thing you're on look just like Eric Gettler? It really does. I take it you being with her means you're an enforcer or something? Ah, <laughs> oh, if only. I don't comprehend your question. Hmm. She's not with Ouroboros, actually. She's a behind-the-scenes helper of sorts who was donated to the Noble Alliance by an anonymous benefactor. Think of her oh, as how lucky another ally them. of the Alliances, much like ourselves, Zephyr, and the Imperial Liberation Front. <coughs> Couldn't ask for a more terrifying lineup right there. Eh, be a shame if all of them suddenly showed up and ganged up on you. Clotilde, please give the order to retreat. There is no need to remain here any longer. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. Let's be go. Oh no, Elise has been kidnapped. Oh wait, hold on, Alphen's been captured. No! Wow, I'm being really mean to Elise. Really, really mean, actually. <laughs> Our story is well underway. There will be many obstacles waiting for you. But struggle on and overcome them. And I'm sure that, eventually, you'll reach the stage where the Azure Chevalier awaits. I would say that there's barriers, but some twats in Crossbow copyrighted that time. Green Schwarzer. I won't let it end this way. No. Hang in there, you two. It's all gone horribly wrong. But hey, we're within the depths of despair, like the prologue stated, so hey. Yeah, we're, it's an unfortunate situation, to be fair. But hey, it means that we only have now Green and Toval to do literally anything with. Meanwhile, in somewhere in the Curzon province airspace, the, pa the Pantagruel flies above the sky. It is a large ship. Why does it? Why does it look like to me like it's a giant shoe? <laughs> That's something that I always think whenever I see it. Just ah, a big shoe. Where, where's another one that looks similar to it but a different color? That's sort of going to connect to like a mega sword and soldat kind of thing, and I don't know, stomp a town into a crater. Obviously, I'm more creative than whatever Falcon come up with. Inside the airship is Rufus Alboea. Has something wondrous caught your eye? Well, if it isn't Duke Kayan and the Azure Chevalier. Marvelous, isn't it, Rufus? Does it not bring you joy to look down upon our land from such great heights? Especially when one considers our victory in the war that rages on it, all but in our grass. Hmm. <laughs> I'm afraid I have far too much on my mind at the moment to take in such Wait, they've taken over pretty much all of the major places. There's a few holdouts. They could just declare the war as one and it'd be like, oh, okay, fair enough. You know, they could have just done that. It's three houses all over again. Where well, actually, no, this was before three houses. So I guess it, I guess it was doing Cosmo two all over again. Where just why is it taking so long to just curb stomp everything that you're already been curb stomping? And with every day that passes, I worry more for the people of my father's province caught up in it. <laughs> so young. And yet you've already adopted such a delightful perspective. It's clear to me now why your father holds you in such high esteem. Had I a son like you, then 
I too would take notice of the achievements you've carried in the war thus far. Um, <laughs> you flatter me, sir. Close to clan has has family wise. No, uh, uh, we don't actually know. Agreed At least not at this point. Be. I intend to do all in my power to carry out your will as supreme commander. I, I don't know if I'm trying. I'm trying to not spoil the the later games in the Cold Steel franchise at every opportunity because that's just not yes, funny or interesting. Oh, good for him. Equally burdened to guide this conflict to a swift conclusion, all for the good of the common people who suffer from it. If only they understood the lengths we go to for them. And on that note, I assume you've already decided on how we will be proceeding. At present, sixty percent of the nation is under our control. All right, so that's enough for Congress victory. Hand, the Imperial Army still has a full fifty percent of its military might remaining. The key to our victory lies in deciding how best to divide the remaining armored divisions between the east and west. <laughs> Excellent. Our alliance forces have few, as well as the Panzer Solda. We have General Aurelia and Brigadier General Wallace. Two oh dear. Soldiers the provincial armies have ever seen. We'll learn later, but oh no, not to Aurelia. Say nothing of the Azure Diva. And the countless other allies. Thank goodness we never actually fight her. But anyway. And of course, there's Fia. Kirk has just been standing there in a default pose. I wouldn't get too comfortable if I were you. Armblast. Just so we're on the same page here, Divine Knights aren't omnipotent or anything. Ordeen isn't going to be wiping fortresses like Gorelia off the map in an instant the way Crossbell's Ion did. Yeah, well, it doesn't have the power of Azure spoilers on it on its side. So yeah, I I guess that's the difference between what happens when you have an Angus like Fia and an Angus like um, Nefartus. And and also um, the seventh one as well. <laughs> Yay! However, his loathsome legacy still lives on. This great nation has been filled with undesirable pollutants as a result of him and his followers. Our primary task shall be to wash away the filth and restore Erebonia to its rightful, glorious form, a land ruled by nobles. As you wish. <sighs> ah, I nearly forgot. Regarding the other Chevalier, I'm in the midst of pondering if there is a way to get him to join us. And being that you're such a close friend of his, your assistance may be required at some point. Give it some thought, won't you? Kyan is being a bit smart here, actually. Trying to get his hands on Reen as well would mean he'd have both currently known Define Knights that are active on his side. In both Ordine and Falamar. It's a genius idea, but Rufus is also right. It's Ween. It's Ween. He he ain't going to suddenly betray everyone like that. Afraid not. The army isn't the only thing we need to worry about. Not with the RMP and the intelligence division at large. And there's also all the other military stuff going on. Potential threats piling up on the side. Plus, you know, your brother's out there too. It's way too early to be getting caught. My brother is no less a son of the House of Alberea. I'm expecting him to show me the best he can muster. And I don't doubt he'll come at me with everything he's got. But ultimately... And now it's time for our rogues gallery of people. We've got, of course, the Imperial Liberation Front there, Saphir. Blue Blanc in his glorious thing. Duvely! Who's busy having to hop back and forth between... Here in Crossbell throughout the whole game, so bravo Duvely on your endurance there. They don't call you the sweat for nothing. And McBird! <laughs> oh god, McBird. You're so right. <laughs> but we'll, we'll learn about some of these people as the game goes on. Uh, so. Still, this is how wars are fought. 
by curb stomping a developing nation so that they'll never be able to be of the same level of technology that that the first world is. Ah, truly the best form of capitalism. Will be ever so beautiful. <sighs> yeah, I guess I can help. Point taken. I can't see anyone or anything out there having a chance against this group of monsters. <laughs> That's the idea. I leave the unseen side of this War of the Lions reenactment in your capable hands. You're up against the Iron Bloods, the Crimson Wings, and the Horned Lions. With opponents like that, you needn't hold anything back. Go forth and mm. enjoy your fill of battle. Hold on, the only known Iron Bloods, Rufus, just as a heads up here, is Claire. Okay, she's in the RMP, she's doing whatever she's doing in the RMP. Milium, somewhere. Don't know where, but she's somewhere. Lecter, currently stuck in Crossbell. Due to a sure event. So, I don't think the Iron Bloods are really that much of an issue. Unless there's some sort of secret member. But ah, that can't be the case. Oh, oh, so this is the opening sequence you get when you start the game up. So we actually do get to see where, potentially where some of the party members happen to be. To some extent. What? Well, oh yeah, we gotta deal with like everything that's horribly going wrong throughout it. So, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll skip over the last, the last of it because there's no need to see it really. It's similar to Cotter One; it's just there. I mean, to be fair, it's possibly actually, you know what? I like the opening sequences or intros of uh, three and four because at least it's not just oh yeah. By the way, here's a bunch of scenes for the game. <laughs> Anywho, we do get to save here, but we're carrying on. Cut to the next day, where Reen and Tova will be leaving Ymir. The scars left on Ymir were fortunately but we do get, but we do get a bit of talkiness as well. Partly thanks to the fact that the number of assailants was relatively small, there were no fatalities. Yay! Nobody died again. The next morning, everyone worked together to clean up the damages and restore the village to its original form. Yay! Everything's being improved, slowly. But improved it has. For starters, there's no fire anymore. People are hard at work cleaning up what needs to be cleaned. No, the snowman's got destroyed. Well, they'll be rebuilt because, let's face it, it's winter now, so we're going to be seeing more snow. However, my father was heavily wounded. And he had been in a deep sleep ever since. It's been one day. So far. And while we knew his injuries weren't life threatening, he would still need to be under careful watch for some time. Yeah. A bit sombered here, but yeah, his father is currently unconscious. Here. Oh, so we finally get Wien's outfit that we seen on like the front cover and in the intro sequences and all that, so Wien's now in his travel outfit. Yay! You're set on leaving now, aren't you? I am. I realize that with Dad unconscious probably stay and protect Ymir in his place. Maybe you could even say that I've got a duty to do so as his son. But I've got something else that I need to do. And to me, that takes priority. If that's your decision, Ring, then I've no intention of stopping you. Like I said, when you and Elise first left here to attend Thor's and Saint Astraea, it's a mother's duty to watch over her children and wish them well as they fly the nest. Mom. <laughs> I'll be sure to watch over your father and this village in your absence. Do all that you can to bring Princess Alfin and Elise back safely. Will do. Toval, Selene, please, take care of him. You can count on me. Toval can certainly help oh, point out. Selene's a cat, what person. can she do? I'd tag along even if he said no. It's about time we went and looked for Emma. Thanks, you two. I'll be counting on you. Okay, Mom. See you soon. Take care, and may the goddess watch over you. Your mom's a strong woman, all right. She really
really is. Yeah, she only got knocked I out. I can to bring Elise and Princess Alphen back. Oh, mentally as well. Yeah. Her down. No. Just playing on a brave face, most likely, like anyone else does when everything goes to shit that like that. Up, huh? Make sure to try and repay all that support she's given you the next time you swing by here. Speaking of next time, it's time to go. We're stopping by the valley before leaving, aren't we? Yeah. I want to see how Valimar's doing. Once we're ready, let's head out. At this conjunction, we do actually get some things we can do. We can now quick travel while in Ymir. Which can be useful. At the moment, we can uh, go to the shopping factory, though, for main story uh, purposes, as now we'll be able to access some of the... We can now access the Orble shop. Which is good news for us, because we kind of are needing that, to be fair. Upgrading our slots. Toval is telling us about this, because this is an information quartz. It's a wear quartz. Apparently, we weren't able to draw out their full potential, but in order to do so now, we have to upgrade it. So, yes, that's right. Finally, the Arcus unit is going up to the same specs as an Enigma over in Crossbell. Uh, even the first form of that had levels. Hell, some of the forms of the Ordnance system in Sky games had upgrades before the Arcus unit did. Bloody hell. Anyway, we had plenty of everything because the idea is that we upgrade one of our slots and put the information quartz in there. And we can also sort out weapons and all that. And of course, his wife wants to talk to us as well. But now we can also synthesize quartz. Yippee. That's good news because it means that we can now grab a bunch of stuff. Wear quartz can only be level 1. Ultra wear quartz will require level 2 slots. And normal quartz can be put anywhere. So, first things first, let's exchange the seventh mass we have, so we have a bit more money, because we really do not otherwise. Each slot, the further along a line it is, will give more EP when you upgrade it. So we're going to upgrade this one to level 1 for now, and put that information quartz on, on wing. And also, now we can edit Toval's lines! Like, we can remove the gunsmith from there and put it in that slot. And then we can give him poison, because why not? Uh, also, customizing weapons! We can't, because we need to buy them first. I recommend buying the weapons. Weapons, because then you can customize them and make them even stronger. Gibby. Oh! And also, Master Course, you can get Mega Lift, which has had a slight change now that it's now it's increased the Tain experience uh, straight off the bat. Buy a 4,000 mirror, put it on someone, they'll get a bit more experience. It's only a slight bit of experience, so eh, it's not really the best. And Camilla talks to us about trading. Okay, well, trading, there's not really much to really explain about it, other than what it will tell us here. You can exchange for better items, supposedly. So, we can turn our tier bombs, in, uh, our tier bombs into tier bombs, our tier bombs into tier all bombs, EP charge 1 into 2 and into 3. Celestial bombs can be gotten out of firing bombs, and ground baits can use up your U materials. Various equipment bits also use U materials, as well as various accessories to give you... Well, more of them. So, like, uh, where is, so we've got a lighter. We can actually now, with free U materials, trade it in for a cozy socks. Now, instead of it just being a prevent freeze, we now get plus fifteen strength and prevent freeze. Nice little thing to be gotten. And now that our objective is to head to the Mir Valley, and my butt's getting a bit numb. This will be it for this edition. Everyone on YouTube, do all the things you can on, on there. And for those of you on Twitch, if you do watch all the way through, hey, you know, that's kind of cool. Do interact. I do like seeing interaction, you know. But hey, I'm not going to force people to do so. I will forever have that 
woman yelling five dollars internalized in my head anywho this is it for this part next time we'll be heading out to talk to Falamar and then heading off to go find our classmates see you next time